Chapter 61 At Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, Cody led Oliver and Jake to his private jet. It was the latest Lear had to offer and came with all the amenities. Being rich, Cody assured them, had some serious perks. Until now, Oliver couldn't find anything extravagant about Cody's lifestyle. The jet was all that and a whole lot more. Cody beamed with pride. Despite Jake's objection, Cody insisted on going with them. It was safer than staying at his cabin with all those dead people laying around. The agency had that in hand. While Oliver showered, Jake called Central Services. They denied any knowledge of the snatch-and-grab operation. They were unable to reach the director for confirmation. There was nothing they could do except send in a cleanup crew. They couldn't even send anyone to the complex yet. Policy dictated the director needed to be incommunicado for 48 hours before any search. This was due, the coordinating operator offered, confidentially, to an unfortunate incident in Washington, D.C. a few years back. When no one could locate the director, they conducted a frantic search. They found him in a motel with a senator's wife. The agents kicked in the door. Granger rewrote the policy that day. Jake thought, that figures. Oliver showered for a good 40 minutes. When he stepped under the steaming hot water and saw the blood flowing down his breather unit, he scrubbed it with soap until his hands were raw and then pulled it off. He repeatedly washed his body, tears running down his face. He lathered as if the soap could make him feel clean again. He fell to his knees and prayed to God for the very first time to forgive him. Now, at the jet, Cody dismissed the pilot. He was handling the flight. He wore a white insulated jumpsuit and a flowing rainbow kerchief. Oliver thought he looked more like a supermodel than a pilot. He shot Jake a concerned look. Jake assured him Cody knew what he was doing. After all, Jake whispered, fairies fly all the time. Oliver weakly smiled. Up yours, Cody bowed before the steps. He flashed a wide smile. Welcome aboard Queer Airlines. He took Oliver's elbow. Help me into the jet, would you? He asked. I always get my heels caught in these steps. Oliver looked down at Cody's boots. They were stilettos. Jake rolled his eyes. Get on the plane, you fag. Once inside and situated, Oliver picked up one of the telephones. Jake looked at him concerned. Oliver set his jaw. I'm calling Lieutenant Henderson. Is that a good idea? Jake asked. Oliver said, Wolf Boy 1 says the chopper went to Denver for maintenance, he replied, dialing the number. If it did, Henderson is with it. And if he is, say no more, Jake said. I know exactly where you're going with that. Cody cleared his throat. Buckle up, he said. We have clearance for takeoff.